Hey, here's Joe again and welcome back to Hitman 2, where we are about to play the second story mission, the finish line in Miami. Let's listen to the briefing. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next put on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. That seems very interesting. So Sierra and Robert Knox, the driver and the... Wow, he's already shot. Great. Now we can smuggle stuff again. Highly secure area, we couldn't take anything with us, okay? Yeah, we can enter in a clown suit as always. I don't like that. Let's take our normal suit. But we can drop a, a weapon off. Oh, they did it differently now. So we have like... Uh, that's the categories. I'd rather take the fiber wire in there. Okay, so we have a fiber wire there and we can't start anywhere else than the event entrance. Okay, there are diff different options here. What's the difference? Surveillance cameras are active. Camera is alert guards if illegal activity is spotted. Combat is challenging but fair. More items are legal to carry. Forgiving less enforcers. NPCs are less attentive to sounds. But we still get unlimited uh, saves. And master does only give us one save permission. No main mission story guidance. Extra cameras, extra enforcers. Bloody eliminations ruin disguises. NPCs are more attentive to sounds. Now let's play professional. And then let's play. The missions in Hitman can be solved in countless ways. One approach is to uncover some of the many mission stories and follow them through. When you uncover a mission story, you will have an opportunity to get help and guidance. Since this is your first time in Miami, you may choose to have a guide active from the get-go. Yeah, let's start with that. Why not? want to know what the game wants to show me for our first try here. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition 
from the Chinese Kowoon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowoon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. Mmm, stakes. I'm sorry. And here we are at the entrance. Can you please stop showing all the bullshit on the screen that I set you to turn off? Like this. Okay. So we can access mission, mission stories through here. Are we supposed to do something to the car? I don't like that. The new army. That sounds interesting. Let's do that. That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Phil, it's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the expo building to meet Knox for the new combat android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew. The guy's a genius, and you know what they're like desperately lacking any discipline or respect for other people. Last time I tried to have a meeting with him, he had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. All right, I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the U.S. military, is scheduled for a private demonstration of a new Kronstadt robotics project. Sounds like a way to get up close and personal with Robert Knox, 47. And directly drag him over here. And dump him in there. And disguise as him. Mr. Mendez, good to see you, sir. The demonstration is scheduled to take place on the upper floors. Please feel free to use the stairs right over there. Mr. Mendez? Right this way, sir. What's this, for example? Kronstadt Bayside Center keycard. Thank you. This seems like he's what are you here? Trying to replace everything. That's what I love the most. Ah, How Forge magazine. Collecting pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47. Uh, Robert, it's Derek. Mr. Mendez is here already. He's eager to get on with the demo. You should come by as soon as possible. Hmm. Yeah, come by as soon as possible. <laughs> ah, Ted, good to finally see you. Guess traffic was rough. Ah, never mind. Let me show you everything. I'm gonna say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty, it's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But, luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infiltrators operating in the field, Hi. disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary, striking an unseen fatal blow, a surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine an army of them, fully equipped android medics, seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, bringing them to safety or patching them up then and there, Android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just okay. pick any of the pictures on the desk, then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data, and Palace will do the rest. Arms acquired. Don't mean me. Obviously, huh, nice. the final system won't rely on you manually feeding The race is entering data. its final lap, 47. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the table and scan it just like I showed you. It's perfectly safe. 
Go ahead. Make my day. Okay, so we have the t other target dummies. B and B. And then we go here. Just scan one of the scan images. Scan one of the pictures. Ted Mendes to kill my... Uh, he isn't even here. Target dummy A, B, C. And the photo of Robert Knox. Mendes. Yeah. Target acquired. Whoa. Robert Knox. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Robert oh, Knox shit. Down. Now for the heir to yeah. the Kronstadt Empire. Over. Goodbye. Paranoid Android. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's go and let's leave freaking Ted Mendes' stuff anywhere else. Um. Goodbye. Sorry. Um. Gonna change back to. The race is over. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now. Okay. So I now can't stage any race accidents anymore. We're not Ted Mendes anymore, so I don't care whether he gets the blame. Good. Let's go to the story missions. What else do we want to do? The Munchies. Doesn't work anymore because he's eliminated. The Triumph. Mission story objective surpassed. The Triumph? Can I be a driver, win the freaking thing, and then get a private audience with her? That would be great. Turbocharge, and we can also destroy her vehicle, which we can't do anymore. And a perfect machine doesn't work anymore because the area was compromised? Interesting. Intravenous. Or oh, pretty in pink. That looks in cute with a little thing. Let's do this though. You have coins here. Thank you. Goodbye. Sir, that red tie. Smash it. Oh my god, I'm stressing out so much right now. I just saw a fight downstairs by the garage. Some guy dressed as one of the flamingo mascots just got jumped by this other man. I ran away as fast as I could. We should call the security. Well, I don't know. I really don't want to get involved. Got a lot of unpaid traffic tickets, you know? And the guy was definitely weird. Just before the attack, I heard him mumbling something about Sierra Knox getting it. Can you believe that? What if he's a stalker? Yeah, we're calling security, all right. <laughs> the only thing we're calling is a bartender. I need a drink. That's interesting. That opportunity sounds interesting, but I don't want to do it. I want to do the other one. Oh, I don't think I have VIP access. Hi there. Want a ticket? VIP. This is the real deal. No forgery. This will get you access to see all your favorite stars up close. Yeah, you could be sitting back and sipping my ties with Moses Lee. Tempted? No? Well, come and find me if you change your mind. Yeah, VIP ticket, please. VIP ticket. I want that freaking VIP ticket. Okay, I don't seem to really have an opportunity to get that VIP ticket. Uh, I could run around searching for more, but we heard about this mascot situation down there where a guy did get the mascot thing. Okay. I'm here now, ready to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, after the race. I just got to pick up the documents from my van, but um, I had to knock out a guy and steal his flamingo outfit, and now I can't find my car keys. Yeah, I know it's dumb. I think I lost him in the scuffle, but the real mascot is still over there. If I don't get them, I've got no evidence. Bye-bye money. I don't know. I, I, I need to figure something out. I'll talk soon. A disgruntled okay. Kronstadt employee has acquired some dirt on Sierra Knox and intends on blackmailing her. Disguised as one of the racing mascots, he plans to meet Sierra by the old motel. Well, I always did feel that pink was your color, 47. Okay, yeah. How do we do that? Hey, hey, can you do me a favor? Go check if my keys are over there. The guy's crazy and I don't dare go over there, but you look pretty tough. Please. 
Okay. Why not? Hi there. Hey, yo! Did you find some keys over there? Yep. Oh man, you're a real lifesaver. Thank you! The security is standing right here. Ah, oh, frick. We're doing it here. Hoping that this corner is as good as it gets. Guys, is him. Pick up his car keys. And the incriminating evidence. And a parking ticket. Okay, can we look at the incriminating evidence? A note attached to the document reads, Sierra Knox, after the race, next to the hotel, bring documents B, the Flamingo. Can I go in here as VIP? As, as Flamingo? Is, am I VIP? Yes. Have a nice day. I'm telling you. Miss Knox is going to be pissed. I did the pre-race checkup on her and, well, let's just say she's got a bad case of intermittent explosive disorder. Poor Dr. Sorensen. First he almost loses a patient to a seemingly harmless case of dehydration. Now he has to deal Don't with this guy gents, suffering from urinary retention. The exhibition <laughs> race is about to start, so let's just hope he doesn't somehow future. screw up Max. the revitalization Max. procedure on Miss Knox. I know it's just a simple injection, but given his track record these past few days... Ladies and gentlemen, well, the fun is not over yet. Yes. He will now tonight. take off the that exhibition race. race. So, it seems Sierra Knox has jumped on the revitalization bandwagon and is scheduled for an injection of some sort. The doctor who is supposed to help her with the procedure is preoccupied with a patient who is unable to urinate. Curious situation, 47. Maybe you can speed things up. Meh. I want to follow the flamingo. The nice outfit. Really brings out your eyes. Miss Knox informed me you'd be here. She has to make sure you brought the documents. So, did you bring the documents? I have the papers right here. Excellent. Come on in. Have a seat or something. I'll let Miss Knox know you're here. So far, so good, 47. Now, let's yes, see where this Knox. meeting is headed. There's a guy here wearing a How are you, sir? Outfit, claiming you have an appointment with him. Wouldn't give his name. Got it. I'll let him know you're on route. Hey, Flamingo guy. Miss Knox is on her way. Grab a seat somewhere. She'll be here as soon as she can. So, uh, you here for a job application or what? Something like that. Nice. If you don't mind me saying so, your particular choice of attire is maybe a little, I don't know, off? For a job interview, I mean. My suit is at the cleaners. And you couldn't find anything else to wear? Correct. You must lead a very interesting life, my friend. You have no idea. I may want to replay all the missions once I'm done with Hitman 3, which is supposed to come out soon. And maybe after that I'll replay the missions with the single premise that I kill every target in a different way than before. Maybe I'll do that. But for now, let's meet Sierra Knox. So, Mr... Hmm. I never did catch your name. Names are for friends. Very well. Straight to the point in all business. Walk with me. Where are we going? Don't worry. What am I gonna do? Kill you in broad daylight. I just want a bit of privacy here. Not about to do sensitive business like this in front of an audience. Good idea. So just okay. to get this straight, you claimed in your email to have somehow found internal reports that show Kronstadt's involvement in the Tungan Valley Massacre. Sounds about right. Let's be clear. You and I are having this meeting because my father doesn't need to know about this. It's just another undesired distraction. I don't care if the information is true or false. I don't care if it mentions moving money from the Nexus project into Tungan Valley damage control, as you claimed in your correspondence. I do care about protecting my father, which is why you and I are now here. I see. Leave me alone for a few minutes, guys. Sure thing, Miss Knox. Uh, if you need us, just call. They just right found the mascot. So here's the deal. 
You hand over the documents and leave, and that's the end of it. And you will do that now. So here are the two possible outcomes of this meeting. One, you will leave this place and this country for good, and that will be the end of it. Yep. That's what I'm gonna do. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. What do we need here? A crowbar. Okay. Can't do that, so we'll have to go out yeah, the main way. Good, Let's just leave. Completing missions just to begin, they're meant to be played more than once. To get the overall story of the finish line, we recommend that you complete the following mission stories. New Army and Pretty Pink, and the perfect machine is the one that they wanted... They wanted me to use. Okay. Why? Why do they want the perfect machine? Don't play that. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Nah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Oh, I will. Rico, I need a favor. That's some Russian orphanage or something where we grew up.
Interesting. Uh, we can directly continue in the story, but we will exit to menu. The three-headed serpent will be our last, uh, our, our last, our next assignment. Sometimes I'm stupid. There are other game modes, by the way, like the sniper assassin stuff is like um, that one mission that we did during Patient Zero, um, where we are, we're like just at a sniper spot and we're ready to to like shoot targets and have a story unfold that way and. They are like that, but more elaborated. So I'm really looking forward to them. We'll play them after the campaign. But for now, we're going to continue with the campaign and the three-headed serpent in Santa Fortuna. What's that place? Where would Santa Fortuna be? I, I don't remember place of that name. We have mountains. We have jungle. It's a Spanish name, so not Brazil. Not Brazil. So some other place that's tropical and Spanish speaking. Could be anywhere from Mexico to Peru. Um, the mountains aren't very high, so not Peru or Ecuador. I don't know, could be anywhere like Colombia or Venezuela or Guatemala or even Mexico. I have no idea. We'll find out in the next episode. Have a nice day. See you then. Mm -hmm.